Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about my weekly stock picks for the week of May 3rd through May the 7th. So just to reiterate, guys, not a financial advisor. Make sure you do your own research before investing. If you don't know how to do your own research, click on the video that's appearing up here at the top right corner. I give you some insight on how to do that. If you find value in today's video, guys, make sure that you hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know whenever we release new content. So guys, let's dive right on into it. Hey guys, so before we get too far into it, we're going to talk about a recap of what happened last week of April 26th through the 30th. So my picks were Clove, C-L-O-V, Zom, Z-O-M, and I-Q-S-T. Okay, guys, so you can see uh, I told you to try to get Clove below $9 if possible on Monday. And as you see, if you bought it maybe pre-market, you could have got in there. But man, it ran up all the way up to about 11.42, close to 11.50. And I'd kind of recommend it getting out at about 10.50 just to play it safe. So about like right here. But it did also have a little pop um, later after that before starting to kind of pull back again and get kind of close to right at about where the entry point would have been. Uh, Zom, you could have got in it under a dollar and it went all the way up to a dollar twenty-eight. So that would have made for a good swing play if you did that. Uh, it's also setting up nice again for those of you who, who didn't catch it this last time. Um, it may hit like a dollar before coming back up, but I think. You know, this is one to kind of keep an eye on moving forward. And of course, IQST, uh, this is kind of a longer term play. I said anything under a dollar is a good buy in my opinion, but it ran all the way up to 95 cents. So you could have gotten in and rubbed up to 95 cents, taken profits and really got back into it again, right at back, um, right at basically what you got into it again. So I bought here at about, right, actually right at 77 cents. Um, I was gonna buy on Monday but as you see it just went it shot straight up so I wasn't gonna chase it I watched it and I was patient and I watched it all the way until it got back down to 77 cents and that's where I went back and re-entered uh, my position so now I have um, I basically doubled my position on it and I'm hoping it kind of uh, tries to consolidate around this 77 80 cent level and if it falls into the 60s again for sure I'm gonna be uh, doubling my position again uh, but if it stays around this level, I'll probably buy more here at their 77 to 80 cent range. Okay, guys, so my picks for May 3rd through the 7th is ticker symbol H-A-E-I-D-E-X and F-N-G-U. Okay, guys, so H-A-E is Hamanonix, uh, and it's basically um, what happened with this stock here is it was trading at almost $100 and had some some news come out I'm guessing about like some type of one of their clinical trials and it fell off of a cliff down to about $66 is where it bottomed out and it's still trading around there these are one of these picks where I talk about uh, on when I go to Finviz and I see like a stock that's really oversold um, this is one of those where it's just kind of bottoming out at that $66 level so I want you to read uh, I want to read through this little article off of Investor Observer it says uh, HAE stock flat publishes plasma collection trial results this is what's going on with HAE uh, it says the stock posted little change after the medical technology company published a full peer reviewed result results of its improving plasma collection or impact trial in the journal transfusion the leading publication for transfusion medicine related research shares of HAE dipped 0.09 percent to 68.19 per share on Thursday morning so what does it mean uh, HAE new publication elaborates on trial data from IMPACT, a multi-center double-blinded study and one of the largest randomized controlled trials spanning 3,443 donors and 23,137 plasma donations. The IMPACT trial compares plasma collection um, using Nexus PCS with ES technology, which collects plasma based on donor over the current industry standard uh, nomogram to Nexus PCS and personal technology. The latter involves a new personalized percent plasma nomogram based on body mass index to enable a more tailored collection target. The trial results result showed personalized donation fared better, posting a yield increase of 8.2% more plasma 
per collection average. Hmm. Okay, so down says plasma is a critical ingredient for important medicines that can have a life changing impact on patients suffering from hundreds of conditions, including and gives you a whole list of these. Um, you know, gives you a couple of list of those uh, things there. I want to go down here. It says the fundamental ranking of this company is an 89 out of 100. Okay, which that's great. Um, but this is kind of more of what the company does down here. It says sells products used handle and analyze blood. The firm sells products in categories such as and gives you a whole list of these things here. So I'm going to link this article in the description below if you want to take a look at it. But the main thing I want you to realize is it's super undervalued. OK, and these plays here, especially these medical companies, these technology companies, when they get beat down like that, they'll stay around those prices for a little bit. And then all of a sudden they'll start recovering and they'll pop five, ten, maybe fifteen dollars over a one to two week period. OK, so that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, IDEX and FNGU, you already know, uh, you probably know about IDEX already, you probably know about FNGU, so we're just going to kind of break down the charts on those particular plays. Okay guys, here is HAE, and as you see here, we bottomed out on the FIB level, and we're just kind of consolidating around that $66 mark. Uh, it is, it has actually increased a little bit, it was in a, a bullish pattern, and it may switch over to a bearish, you might be able to actually catch it lower than what you're seeing here. So I would kind of be patient and watch it and it may bounce off of that 66 support or it may dip a little bit lower. If it does and gets back into undervalued, that's where I would make my entry and then I would write it up and hold until it gets closer to that 8127 mark before cashing out on it, okay? IDEX, ticker symbol IDEX. I did bust above that SMA line, which is great, and then fell back below and it broke support of that 303. So what I'm watching for on this particular stock, guys, is this is a longer term play for me. But if you're looking to do a quick swing play, um, if it bounces off of this support of 296 and busts back above three dollars and it holds support above three dollars, that's where I would make my entry. If not, if it falls below 296 and it gets into like the 270, 260 mark, it'll probably be close to undervalued. And that would be where you want to get back in. So if you got you know, if you're going to average down or if you're going to do a swing in that 260, 270 level, then you can swing it when it gets close to that $3 mark. If you're going to enter at about the $3 mark, then you can do your uh, exit point at about 340 to 350 would be a good spot to take profits on that. FNGU, we're tracking our major tech plays here. Um, we're having some issues getting above, you know, that $36 mark. So every time it's coming down and testing this 3150 support level is where I'm buying. So I cannot wait until Monday morning. I'm going to buy some more shares of this bad boy right here. I've already swung it once, uh, bought some shares around here and rode all the way up to here. And now I'm just buying around the 3150 level. If it does break support and it goes down, then I'm looking to buy more down here and average down. And then I'm going to ride it up and just wait. Okay. So this thing here, um, if you remember, it did a stock split, which is why the stock is so cheap um, at this point. But basically, before it did the split, it was basically trading at 10 times the amount of what you're seeing here. So basically, imagine this at $460, you can get at uh, instead of $460 or $350, you're getting at about $35. So that's why it's so cheap right now. It did do a stock split. Okay, guys, and on my watch list this week is Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Uh, Z N O G N I L U S G N O G. I want to see if we can break through that SMA, SMA line and hold support and see if we can confirm the uptrend. Uh, Z N O G. I think we're going to see a pullback for sure, but I want to see if we continue to move to the upside and also bust through that SMA line. And I L U S is one that I'm going to start keeping an eye on now and uh, kind of do some more DD before uh, I talk about buying because I, I keep seeing it pop up online. And I got a lead on it, and now I want to kind of dive into it. It's currently at about eight cents. Okay, so I'm going to start doing some research on it, and I'll let you know if I do decide to buy. And that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope that you liked the video and you found some value in it. If you did, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and let, let me know what you would like to see by commenting below. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.